Hi, this is Kobe from CrossFit Abode. Welcome to the Coronavirus Isolation Package. This package is designed to accommodate absolutely anybody. We have an option with no equipment, an option with limited equi equipment, that's if you've got one piece of equipment or a couple of pieces of equipment, and we've got options if you have a full home gym. We also have scaling options to suit absolutely everybody's fitness needs. So whether you've done CrossFit before or you've done no fitness before and anywhere in between, we have a scaling option to suit you. This is gonna be a tough time for most people, whether it be losing your jobs, whether it be your kids having to come home from school and having to organize them if you were still working, whether it be maybe even going into isolation. This is gonna be a really tough time. So it's really important now more than ever that we all stick together and keep this wonderful community going. So I encourage you to reach out to all of your friends and family and get them on board with this too. And they can also enjoy the benefits, the community, the fitness, the mindset, the nutrition, the challenges that's going to be the CrossFit Abode isolation package. I want you to know that I am here for you over this difficult time. Every day you'll be sent an email and it'll have all of the information you need. You will receive that by 7 p.m. the day before. So it will give you an opportunity each night to read through, to watch the videos, and come up with any questions you may have. If you ever need to ask me anything, please email me at kobe at crossfitabode.com. What does your email of the day include? It starts off with an introduction. During the introduction, it will introduce any new information that you haven't been told in previous days, and it'll give you a brief overview of what this day entails. You will then see the workout of the day. Here there will be a video link. Through that video link, we'll go through a complete brief, demonstration, explanation of the workout, all of the options and all of the scaling options for the workout. We'll then go through a complete warm-up. Through the warm-up, we will go through a general phase. That will just be getting our heart rate up. We'll be going through a range of motion phase. That will be getting our muscles and joints through a full range of motion in preparedness for the workout to come. And then we'll be going through a specific phase of the warm-up. Following the warm-up, we'll go on with our skill of the day. Our skill of the day will either introduce a new movement or go in detail one of the movements that we're doing in the workout of the day. We'll go through technique, points of performance, and if you see that is a weakness for you, that particular movement, whether it be handstand or push-ups, no matter what the movement is, then what we can do is we can give you a little piece of homework that you can then add to your challenges for each day. We'll then go through a normal cool down, just stretching out the muscles and joints that we use through the workout of the day. Following the cool down, you'll see the mindset of the day. Now this is a time that is more important than ever to one, help each other out, be an ear to listen to anyone that needs to tell you what their worries are, if they're anxious, if they're worried about losing their job, if they already have lost their job, now is so important to help each other out. What the mindset of the day is, it will give you one piece, one thing to work on for that day and hopefully carry that as a habit going forward. What kinds of things will we work on? Anxiety, stress, we can work on performance through a workout, we can work on how to deal best with your personal emotions, uh, especially going through this tough time. Following the mindset of the day, we have nutrition tip of the day. The nutrition tip of the day will give you one piece to work on each day. It will be things like how to create good habits, how to stop cravings, how to eat better and therefore improve your mental and physical health. We'll then be going on with the mobility of the day, not to be confused with the cool down. Generally in the cool down, we just go through something really short just to make sure that we get that heart rate down and to generally stretch the muscles. Mobility of the day will be, we can use massage balls, we can use rollers. If you don't have any equipment, we will also have a no equipment option. And what we'll do is we'll put a muscle and joint through a complete range of motion for an extended period of time. We'll use things like contract, relax, 
uh, stretching, contract, relax, antagonist contract. We'll use things like just prolonged holds, isometric holds. Uh, we'll use, again, equipment that you may have at home, hopefully, or have at least a massage ball uh, that will really help through this situation. We'll then do the challenge of the day. The challenge of the day can be a variety of things. It might be something like do 200 burpees and you've got the whole day to do it and you can break it up however you want. It might be something like accumulate five minutes of being upside down or a scaling option for that. The challenge of the day can be anything and that will change every single day. And then on the Friday's workout of the day, so you'll receive that Thursday night, you will get a challenge for the whole weekend. So that will give you and your family something to do. The final piece is get your kids involved too. Your kids are free. If you, the adult purchases a membership, the kids can join in too. You can scale them down by a couple of different ways. You can scale the amount of reps or you can give them a time cap. So say at 10 minutes, they're to stop no matter where they are. But all of the kids stuff is no equipment. So you just choose the no equipment version for the kids and that's safe using their own body weight. Get them involved, get them active. This is more important now than ever because they're gonna be probably homeschooled uh, coming next week. So get your kids involved, do it with the whole family, get the community involved, share with this with your friends, with your family, with your loved ones, get them all fitter by the end of this period than they were going into it. Now we might lose things like strength if you don't have any equipment, but do you know what? Who cares? At least you have your health and fitness and you have a means in which to keep some fitness and you will improve on certain areas. We're gonna get better at burpees. We're gonna get better at push-ups. We're probably gonna get the first standing upside down on your hands that some people have ever got. So make this an opportunity, an opportunity to improve on the things that you're not so good at now. Take every day as it is. Do this every day. Complete every segment every day and you will have fun. It will take a little bit to adjust to, don't get me wrong. It will be really hard not coming into this place, the place you love, not going into your normal gym wherever you normally train. It is going to be a hard adjustment period. But we are all in this together. Help each other out. Keep those lines of communication open. Number one is, please adhere to all of the social distancing guidelines. Stay 1.5 meters away. Wash your hands for 20 seconds before and after your training. Wipe down all of your equipment with antibacterial wipes. Make sure it's something that's hospital grade and is actually gonna kill the virus. We are all in this together. Stay safe, have fun, promote this with your friends and family.